So, she finally arrived. It finally occurred, people. The share of atheism finally graced my humble little channel with her presence. And already, before it even started, yeah, the share of atheism, before it even started, we were embroiled in controversy. Yeah, well, I swear, we were embroiled in controversy. Share of atheism, why is he calling a share? Oh my God, what, what does he mean by share of atheism? Murmur, 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 share of atheism, rhubarb, rhubarb, rhubarb. Controversy already. Share of atheism. Let us clarify. Share equals big star of atheism. Share is shorthand for big star. Yeah, she's the big star of atheism. You didn't know that? Or at least she will be. She's on her way to become... Okay, fine. Maybe she hasn't completely... She hasn't completely gone supernova on us yet. But that means we get to hang out with her on her way up. Two years from now. Fast forward two years from now. You'll be like, Matt who? Dillahunty who? Oh, that boring old guy with the talking points? I don't care about him. Where's Shannon? Where's Shannon? I don't care about that guy anymore. I want to hear Shannon. So, big star of atheism. Cher, lest you not understand this clearly, is the biggest star around. Cher's been a star since 1965, people. I swear to God. My sister was playing Cher records in the 70s when I was growing up. I swear to God. I'm born in a wagon on a traveling show. My mama used to damn for the money they throw. Papa do whatever he could. Preach a little gospel. Sell another bottle of Dr. Good. Gypsies, tramps, and thieves. I hear from the people of the town. They called us gypsies, tramps, and thieves. But every night all the men would come around and lay the money down. Yeah, it wasn't bad. It was a good share invitation, right? That's what you're thinking. I know that's a, hey, that was a pretty good share invitation. Yeah, it was. It really wasn't that bad. Um, I swear to God, my sister would play that. Early 70s. All the time. She'd play that record all the time. That's why I know every single lyric to it. I didn't look that up. My sister played it every single day. Um, that and Pink Floyd, The Wall. And Queen. What else did she play? Oh, there's a bunch of albums she plays. Anyways, getting me off topic. Um, so... Cher's been a star since, since 1975, and she's still a star today. My, my, my wife dragged me this summer to see a movie starring Cher. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. Mamma Mia 2. I was like, you want to go see Mamma Mia 2? I'm like, uh, yeah, that sounds great, dear. <laughs> sure, sure, let's go. Sounds fun. Um, so, Cher of Atheism equals big star of atheism. That's what Shannon is, the big star of atheism. If you don't know that, you know, watch the videos, you'll see. So, anywho, the, the, the event in question went pretty much as expected, as I, as I had anticipated it would go. You know, try to pin her down on all the challenging questions, she charms her way out of them. There's just no pinning her down. She's just like my wife, can't pin her down. You start getting really, really intense on something, you know, bats her eyes. That's what my wife does. This is my wife now, not, not Shannon. You start getting really intense on something, she bats her eyes and charms her way out of it. And, you know, you get all messed up in the head. You can't think clearly. Same strategy. Same strategy at play. So. There are only two or three things that I wanted to cover. Going into these, going into these interviews, I only have about two or three things that I that I care about getting to, and then the rest. The only thing I really wanted to get to that didn't get got that I wanted to get out there into the general population. She did a she did a video on cognitive dissonance. Now I kind of misinterpreted the point she was coming from in her video, so that's probably why my the point that I was trying to bring forth. I'm not sure if Shannon would disagree with this actually is that cognitive dissonance, from the Christian point of view, is not something that actually happens as a lived experience. It's something that happens if you dig down into the, if you, you know, if you go digging for it. But for example, my wife is a Christian of good standing, you know, church, churchy church Christian for a pretty, pretty committed one. There's no cognitive dissonance in her Christianity. Partially because she doesn't care. When you start digging, you know, the stuff that we do in apologetics, we get really into it. 
So you just might not know for, and I was going to try to bring this up. I never really got it, got, got to the point with Shannon on this particular topic. Um, because we, me, the Christian, and you, the atheist, this is what we do. We do apologetics. So we dig into like, you know, the slaying of the Midianites and uh, Noah's Ark and things like that. But as a lived experience where Christianity actually occurs in the real world, Nobody thinks about that crap at all, ever, <laughs> ever, I swear to God, nobody. There's no cognitive dissonance because nobody gives the flying is fake. You know, my, my wife has read the Bible, sure, and she's a very committed Christian, but she doesn't go digging into the Old Testament and try and reconcile it, you know, with even everyday common sense. She just takes it as a kind of, not even as an article of faith, she just kind of takes it as a like, okay, I'm sure it all makes sense somehow, period. End of the discussion that she would have on the subject, end of the discussion she would want to have.